All right, guys, uh, describe where each of the following processes occur, specifically like organelle and stuff like that. Uh, the electron transport chain, also called the ETC, the Krebs cycle, and glycolysis. So again, you're describing where each one of those processes occur, specifically. ETC, glycolysis, and electron transport chain. What process follows glycolysis? What process follows glycolysis? Where does lactic acid fermentation occur? Where does lactic acid fermentation occur? <laughs> Compare and contrast cellular respiration and photosynthesis. Uh, specifically, you want to know the differences between them. Focus on the differences. Be able to identify both the chloroplasts and the mitochondria from pictures of cells. So if you're looking at cells, make sure you can point out both of those organelles. Chloroplasts and what? Mitochondria. Know the reactants for glycolysis as well as the products produced in glycolysis. Know the reactants produced in the Krebs cycle. You know what goes in and know what comes out, the products. And also make sure you know the products that go into the electron transport chain and then what is, excuse me, the reactants that go in and the products that are created. Memorize the equation for cellular respiration and make sure you know which side the reactants are on and which side the products are on. Name the starting molecule for the Krebs cycle. Identify the name of the electron or energy carriers that play a role in cellular respiration. There are two of them in addition to ATP. List the correct order of events in cellular respiration. List the correct order of events that occur in cellular respiration. What are the products created in photosynthesis? Name the process that forms lactic acid when oxygen is, is absent. Name the process that forms lactic acid when oxygen is absent. Be able to describe which organisms, which organisms utilize cellular respiration. Describe which organisms utilize cellular respiration. What element is required in order to produce the most ATP? And when I'm talking about elements, it's the ones that we learned from the periodic table, for example. But which one specifically makes the most ATP? For every one glucose molecule, how many ATPs are created? I think I mentioned this, but name and describe the energy carriers that are present in cellular respiration. Describe how living things obtain the energy that they need. You have autotrophs and you have heterotrophs like ourselves. So describe how heterotrophic organisms like ourselves obtain the energy that they need. Name the organisms or choose the organisms that use lactic acid fermentation. Name organisms that rely on alcoholic fermentation.
Where in the cell does oxidative respiration take place? <coughs> what organelle does oxidative respiration take place? <coughs> because you have aerobic or oxidative respiration and you have anaerobic respiration. So oxygen is present, oxygen is not. Specifically, what organelle and where in that organelle does this take place? Differentiate between aerobic and anaerobic exercises. Specifically, what makes an exercise aerobic versus what makes an exercise anaerobic? What is the net gain of ATP? And when I'm talking about net gain, another word for net is total. So what is the net gain of ATP for the glycolysis process? For the ETC, also known as the electron transport chain. And what is the net gain of ATP for the Krebs cycle? Each one of those produces a different amount of ATP. What does glycolysis break down before cellular respiration occurs? What does glycolysis have to break down before cellular respiration can occur? List the differences between <coughs> fermentation, cellular respiration, and glycolysis. How does cellular respiration release energy? How does cellular respiration release energy? What does it break down to release energy? Okay, what does cellular respiration have to break down to release energy? Which carbon-based compound in the food that we eat? For example, we talked about carbohydrates, lipids, uh, proteins, and nucleic acids. Those are all carbon-based compounds. Which one of those four produces the most ATP? Uh, make sure you know the differences between lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. From a list and from processes studied in chapter nine, choose which process is the source of energy during exercise. Okay, which process or processes studied in chapter nine can we extract energy from in exercise? Therefore, you need to know which one you would not extract energy from during exercise. There are 32 multiple choice, and there will be four short answers. The short answers will be based on diagrams, where you're going to look at the diagram and answer questions. Here are, the, here are the figures that you need to make sure that you are familiar with in your online book. Figure 1.2, figure 1.3, Figures 2.1 through 2.6. So 1.1, excuse me, 1.2, 1.3, and then 2.1 through 